Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to part three of the Stomper build. Um, so, where did we leave off? The body was done and all detailed up, and I was just finishing off the shooter arm, which is now done. So that's all hunky-dory and lovely and all going on. Now all I've got to do is the right-hand arm or the left-hand arm um, his left, our right, if looking. Um, and yes, I've decided to make it a uh, kind of like a zapper, shocker thing. So I've defaulted down to my um, dodgy Lego again. I've got some quite funky bits that I'm building up, like so. Um, now I'll have like a ball at the end as well. And we'll plop into this piece here I've got as a kind of mounting affair. Oh, there we go. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Ball at the end. And then I'm going to have some zappy arms around the outside end. And then we'll build that up. I'm going to go on to the, um, let's, what's say, the elbow section. And then, yeah, we'll be ready to um, get it on, get it, de well, get it detailed then with some cabling. Get it on the uh, stomper. And then we can start painting. So uh, let's do that. Let's get this zappy arm thing. Get it built. Greetings everyone, welcome back to part three of the Stomper build. Um, so, where did we leave off? The body was done and all detailed up and I was just finishing off the shooter arm, which is now done. So that's all hunky-dory and lovely and all going on. Now all I've got to do is the right-hand arm or the left-hand arm um, his left, our right, if looking. Um, and yes, I've decided to make it a uh, kind of like a zapper, shocker thing. So I've defaulted down to my um, dodgy Lego again. I've got some quite funky bits that I'm building up, like so. Um, now I'll have like a ball at the end as well. And we'll plop into this piece here I've got as a kind of mounting affair oh there we go well anyway you get the idea ball at the end and then i'm gonna have some zappy arms around the outside end and then we'll build that up i'm gonna we'll go on to the um let's what's say the elbow section and then yeah we'll be ready to um get it on get it de well get it detailed then with some cabling get it on the uh, stomper and then we can start painting so uh let's do that let's get this zappy arm thing get it built and just like that we have a zappy zappy arm hand thing and there we go obviously needs cladding and orcifying you know some cables running along here all the way down here that's going to run into a, like a bunch then go up to the arm like so and then some kind of generator -y thing and stuff but uh, yeah essentially hang on let's do this hang on where is it so i've drilled one of these out and it's there we go ha <laughs> ha is that the one that's the one yeah so there you go that's the other arm so yeah cables bunching in going into here and coming out of here and pistons and all sorts of shenanigans to go onto this bad boy and then onto the side of the um stomper and then he's done and we can get him painted so that'll be awesome source so let's get this detailed up i've got some more bits of lego -y stuff there i'm going to use some cabling from the tube maker and some some of this stuff here so it's gonna look awesome but i've got to clad it all first um and you know obviously dent it and get some rivets and stuff on it but uh yeah, all good. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Look, And with that, Mr. Zappy Arm is all ready to go. All nicely detailed up. Loads of cabling and wires going on. Kind of a nice sort of zappy area here with rivets and nuts and bolts and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, looking cool. This is now ready to go on to this bad boy. It will go on here. As he's running forward, it'll be flying, flailing back out like so. So that'll be cool. So let's get that done. Um, 
yeah, I've got a few few other little bits of detailing to do on the main body. Um, like I want to put some kind of sole grippy thing on the floor of the, of the boot here. Um, not so much not on here because obviously that's going to be on the ground, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, bit, 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 bit of detail, and then we then I'm going to go and chuck this in and get it all sprayed up and get this ready for painting. Um, I need to have it done by the end of the week because I've got to ship it off somewhere. Um, more on that later. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't. Can I say something? Uh, if I, more on that later. Speak to a bit. Okie dokie. Right. I thought I'd um, get him together and give you a quick uh, three sixty ish kind of. I'm not going to do a full spin. I'll just fiddle him around in front of you. Uh, let's just do it um, and talk while I've got him in my hand. So here he is. Um, looking pretty, pretty funky if you ask me. He no longer stands up on his own because of the weight of this gun has <laughs> uh, made him a little bit side heavy. But that's fine because he's going to be put on a base anyway at some point. But um, yeah, there, there, there it goes. Look, it's all together now. Um, detailed up the foot um, here, give him some tread. So he's got a nice pair of Nike Orc Converse or whatever you want to call them. Nike Jordans. I don't know, bloody no. I don't do trainers anyway. Anyway. So, yeah, he looks lovely. Um, yeah, really cool. The only thing that's kind of reared its ugly head, and that's not a pun, is the head. I actually think it might be a bit too big now. Um, it, mm, I'm not sure. It, yeah, it's just, just, I don't know. It just gives me, I don't know. It's, yeah, I think it's just a little too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock it off because he's only temporarily glued on. Like so. This has only just been screwed together, by the way. The arms, so that they can come off ready for painting. Excuse me. I think I might have just burped there. How, how disgusting. Um, so the head, I'm going to probably knock out this section here and this section here. Luckily, it's in the plate. Slice them down. Pull it in a bit. Just make it a little bit narrower and not so deep. Um, stick this back on. And uh, I think that's probably the way to go. I'd, yeah, I might just reduce it down a bit. So I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to show you that. You'll just see it when it's finished and painted. You'll see the difference there. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Get this thing beast broken down with a drill, and then uh, we'll start getting him painted. So um, looking forward to that. Here we go. Okay, we're at the, the painting table or the painting desk, and... This is kind of stuff where I'll do do my airbrushing and, and my big batch painting kind of area. Um, there's the airbrush coming off. So I've mixed up some army green and some Vallejo uh, Game Air Black in a tube, like so. And this is just a darker version of the base coat. And the idea is I'm going to use the airbrush and I'm just going to... It's a very small tank. That's why it keeps going off. Um, I'm just going to give sort of like an overall um, shade to the green areas uh, on, on the stomper. Uh, as you can see, uh, the green areas, this has all been base coated. Uh, Army green for for the green. And then the brown is that um, stuff I've used before. Uh, I think it's called gold. I'll get it from Hobbycraft. Uh, and we're just going to go on this and just give it a bit of a shade around the bottom um, and I'm doing this before I actually weather um, the the brown up to the the rust texture because then any any overspray I could just cover with that and I'm also going to go in any of the gaps where the undercoat hasn't quite gone and just build up a little bit of a texture on the green so when we do some washing and some weathering, it just gives a little bit more interest. And get right inside the, the green bits of there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. Because I'm not sure you don't want to hear 20, 30 minutes of my airbrush going off. So, I'll do that. I'll carry on with this and show you where I've got to. Once that bit's done, and then once that bit's done, we'll um, probably, um, what should we do after that? Let's think. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, after this is done with the black, well, the black, the black green, 
Uh, I'll probably weather up um, the rusty bits. Um, then possibly a coat of varnish to seal everything. And then we'll start doing some um, some detail work, some freehand, some markings, that kind of some glyphs. You know, do the white and the checks. Uh, get that sealed in. And then we'll come back with the, um, the, the, the oil washes, I think. So, awesome. Uh, yeah, that's coming up. See you guys in a bit. Yeah. So that's all the kind of like the pre-shading done with the airbrush on the green and his on his mush as well. So that's quite nice, and that'll give it just a bit of depth for when I start doing some weathering, um, some dry brushing, and some oil washes. So next then is onto the rust. I've got me me browns and me oranges. I've got Mournfang brown, Rise of Rust. Troll Slayer Orange, Don't Squig Orange, and Mournfang Brown Base, eh? Oh, Doom Ball Brown. So Doom Ball Brown, Mournfang Brown. There we go. And I've got cheap pound makeup brush for the stipply stipply. So that's next. That's quite a big job because I've got all the body to do and the arms to do as well. So that'd be quite a big job. Once I've done the orange stippling and the browns, um we'll um catch up then and then we'll do some uh glyph work and then we'll get to oil washing it and weathering it down so that should be cool okay okay off we go look at this beautiful rusty boy hey oh, lovely that's looking mighty splendid um might have to bring it up another shade on the old riser rust but loving that What's next? I'm going to give it a flick of um, silver because obviously a lot of these are moving parts. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a flick of silver. Just, you know, just to give it a little bit, you know, it kind of blends at the moment. I just want to give it give it some harsh edging just to give it a bit, little bit of depth. Um, while I'm doing that, if you haven't seen my previous videos where I do my rust, I'll quickly run through it now on this bad boy. It's really simple. It's really easy. I've got a bit of Doom Ball Brown, a bit of Riser Rust, Cheap old paintbrush from the pound shop. The, the one that's not even a paintbrush, it's a makeup brush. Warm frame brown on your palette. So, bit of riser rust. Mix them together. And just tap and stipple away. And that is all I do. Just go all the way over it. Stipple it all in. And then once that's dry... Add a bit more riser rust to the morphine brown. Do it again. Um, and then keep doing it till you come up to full riser rust. And then that's, uh, for me, that kind of gives you that kind of like dry, dry looking rust. Um, sort of you get out in um, like Arizona, that kind of stuff. What the cars look like in, you know, when they're, they're in those abandoned, you know, there's thousands of cars in those fields. Is that kind of dry surface rust, which... I think is perfect for this Orky Stomper. So, uh, yeah. Like so. So, I shall continue with it. And then we'll do a nice little flick of silver. And then we can get on with some uh, some detailing. Let's crack on with it. Okay. So, painting has happened. I've put... I don't know if you'll be able to pick... The camera's going to pick this up. It might do. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, light dry brush of... It was like a bolt gun metal, not the really bright silver, but kind of like one of the mid-tone ones. I've uh, painted a barrel, a um, couple of bits of graffiti on there, a bit of dacca, some kill markings. Same with the hull, as it were. So I've got like a nice stripe on it, a um, bit like the Russian tanks in World War II. They would put white stripes on their vehicles so they wouldn't get attacked from the air. Um, painted the checks on the knee. Little red star there because it is um, a goblin uh, re re rebellion, re grot rebellion, yeah, grot rebellion. Um, part of my grot rebellion army, and then round to the back, same dealio on the arms. So, a bit of a dry brush there, looking suave and lovely. Um, zapper gun, gun thing that's all got its wires and stuff done now, which looks pretty smart. And also the head is also he's got his teeth done. Um, the neck's been done dry brushed. Uh, a bit more dacker again. So you got dacker and mech dacker. So obviously because that's kind of like an evil eye. 
So there we go. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you should know what's coming next. It is indeed time for the oil wash. So I've got a little oil wash in a jar here that I've mixed up previously. I'm going to see how that works. And then what you can do, if it's too runny, you can then use your other oil washes just to bulk it out and give it a bit of darkness. So it's in a very simple um, phase. So this is um, oil, uh, oil paints with um, mineral spirits or white spirit in the UK. Just going to put it on my palette there just to make sure it's not too runny. No, this looks lovely and thick, lovely and dark. And all you do is you slap it all over the bit you want to weather. Like so. See if you can see that there. There we go. I'm going to do this side just to show you what we do. So we get it all in there. Try and get it in all the nooks and crannies because that's the bit, that's where you want it to, to, to stay. Because the idea of this is it looks like oil residue has dripped and, you know, got stuck in the workings and that kind of thing. And it's all nasty. And the, the oil paint will look like oil. So once you've done all that, just get yourself, whoa, don't drop it on the on your thing. But once you've got that, get yourself an old sponge. This is an old um, kitchen sponge. And then just drag down to remove the excess. Like so, you can swirl it and dab it. You know, pull it right the way down. So you're taking most of it off. But what that does, it leaves behind a real nice oily weathered look it makes that stripe look wicked and do it on the and it just it just stays in the recesses which is great and then you just go around i'm just going to go around now do that to the whole model and then when it dries build it up do it again and just keep building it up until you're happy with your final result and if it is too dark at one point all you do is you get your minimal spirits or what i use is a bit of lighter fluid and you just clear it off, which is the you know which is the marvelous bit about it. So I'm going to crack on with that, and then once that's all done, uh, we'll get him fixed together. I think, and um, yeah, let's get him fixed together after that. Cool beans, let's do it. It's basing time. He's a big old boy. He no longer sits up on his own. Uh, sits up on his own, stands up on his own. He's a hefty chunker. I'm only showing you the legs because uh, though obviously there'll be a full reveal. Um, so, yep, yeah, I've got this bad boy. This cost me something like three quid from Amazon. Next day delivery. It's just a, a wooden chopping board, I think, or bread board, I guess. Um, so I'm going to mark where he goes on here with my Sharpie. And I'm going to build up the texture, build up a bit of grand mass with some just some glue gun and some um, bit of foil. And then just coat it. I mean, I'm not going to go mental on, or, and mad on the... Um, the basing is, you know, just keep it simple. I can always come back to it. So um, let's get him marked up. Where is he? Oh dear. So he's going to be running. So I just need to get him centered on this as much as I can. Uh, that's probably about right. And then use my pen. I don't know if you can see this, it's quite difficult to film and hold him at the same time and just draw around the foot. So I know where to drill in because I'm going to put a couple of screws through this foot here and I might put a couple through this foot here. So as I say, I just need to, there we go, there we go, as you can see. And we'll just draw that across there. So that gives me my rough template for the feet, which is pretty awesome. And then we'll get a, oh, I did have a drill bit on here. Hmm, what, did that, what happened to that? That's interesting. Where did, I, where did that bloody drill bit go? I bet it's fallen off somewhere. Anyway, I'm gonna drill a couple of holes through here and then probably one through there and then we'll screw up from the bottom and then that'll be lovely but that's enough there i'm going to get some um, texture on there build it up with some tin foil i might show you that i might not we'll see how we get on but there we go getting him based up it's the last bit to go go on then i'll show you what i'm quickly doing on the um on the base so let's so say this is the wooden base 
and I'm just crunching up some um, tin foil or aluminum foil to my American and Canadian viewers uh, and I'm just losing hot glue just sticking it onto this base and then I'll cover it over with some more tin foil and it, just to build up a little bit of um, undulation on the ground a little bit of ground texture um, you know nothing ma massive nothing I don't want to take too much away from the actual model itself so just building up textures like so and then this will go over the top and just give me a little bit of variation um, in, the in, the, in the texture so I can uh, mod podge and put some glue on it later on so just scrunch it up into like a almost like a ball and just glue it on to give me some undulation so that's it that's all I'm doing and then it'll just be uh, mod podge sand ready to go get it painted up get the base room done and then fix our um, lovely stompy boy to it there we go right let's crack on with this there we go boys and girls ladies and germaloids all finished for now he still needs um a crewman in his head but you know i can still play games about that so that's fine um the eagle eyed among you may have noticed that the base is different that's because on the original one we got a bit of warp factor 10 on the go look at that it all warped really bad so i had to quickly knock up um a quick mdf base so um yeah that was pretty terrible anyway i'm gonna ro rotate this around now so you can give you a full 360 view and you might see my hand coming hello very professional right let's give him a bit of a spin round so you can see what's going on so the running pose is good really pleased with that spin round to the shooter and choppy arm section just come up really nicely you can see all the nice weathering that the oil wash has done and around onto the back there you've had some nice close-up shots of that but now it's all painted i think that looks pretty good oh that's oh look at that that's professional hang on <laughs> Bugger that. Right, and as we go right around now to the zappy arm, I'm really pleased with all the wires, um, especially around here, this sort of split bit of conduit, the bare wires, um, and they all go to the, each wire goes to each prong. Really pleased with that. And when we come back round to the front, oh, actually, that gives you a nice idea of the pose. Him running forward so he's ready ready for his first game i guess which fingers crossed and uh we don't get any dodgy uh you know covid restrictions um i should be playing at mini wargaming in canada in in january 2022 and this bad boy is going to get wrapped off and sent off to them so uh yeah that uh, more news on that as it happens so that's him all done, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this build and this um, part in either, all three of these sections. Uh, I will catch you in the next build. Take care, guys. And if you've been inspired, please click like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff that's all good for the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. Always like to see those. Join us at Facebook uh, on Mini Models of Mayhem. And if you can spare a couple of quid each month, there's always Patreon. You guys take care, and I'll see you soon.